So you've received your credentials and you've logged into the DeepFreeze cloud interface. The next step really logically is to create uh, a policy and basically a policy is a collection of settings uh, associated to services that you want to enable in order to install them on your computers. Now when you first log into the DeepFreeze cloud interface you'll actually be provided a wizard that will step you through the configuration of the Pharonix default policy. Um, I have a few policies already created uh, within my DeepFreeze Cloud platform, so uh, I'll walk you through it using the Manage Policies button towards the top of the main screen. We'll be taken to the policies list, uh, which will show you which policies are, are currently created and located on the system. And uh, you'll get at a glance some information about each policy, including the number of computers that have the policy assigned to them, as well as the specific services that are enabled within each policy. What we'll do here is we'll add a new policy and I'll just step you through the different settings that are available when we configure a policy. So the very first uh, group of settings is called general settings and these settings are specific to the actual cloud agent uh, that facilitates communication between the computers and the cloud platform. So the first option here is heartbeat settings. What heartbeat settings define is the period uh, during which the workstations will check into the cloud platform to determine if there have been any modifications made to the policy that's applied to that computer and, uh, and then make whatever changes have been made. So for evaluation purposes, we have a heartbeat of five minutes uh, just to speed up the process, give you a, a decent idea as to exactly how the policy um, interface works. Now, once you move into production, I strongly encourage you to change that evaluation heartbeat to one of the other options available here. And we provide options of 4, 8, 12, 16, or 24 hours. Now, which option you select is really going to be determined by how often do you make policy changes or do you plan to make policy changes. And not just that, but how fast do you uh, require those policy changes to be made on the computers once they've been made. Uh, I'll just select 12 hours here. Uh, towards the bottom we have a password option and this password uh, is associated with the installation of the cloud agent itself on the computers. So what this password will do is prevent the cloud agent from being removed through the add remove programs uh, by a user. If they don't have that password they will not be able to remove that cloud agent. And over towards the right on the next tab, we have maintenance periods. So what maintenance periods do is they essentially disable any services that have been uh, enabled within the policy and are installed on the computer to allow changes to be made. So if you have a defined maintenance period within your environment, uh, say for example, uh, 2 a.m. Uh, to 5 a.m. on Thursday morning, uh, we simply specify that window, check the Thursday box, and what will happen here is if the computers have deep freeze installed on them or anti-executable installed on them, at 2 a.m. on Thursday morning, the systems will restart themselves into a thawed state. They will place anti-executable into a maintenance mode, and that will allow changes to be made. So if you're using a uh, third-party DMS such as SCCM or Dell Case or Semantic Altiris to deploy software or patches, uh, modify the configuration of a workstation. Um, this will allow those changes to be made between the hours of 2 a.m. and 5 a.m. on Thursday. We have some additional options towards the bottom related to messages that you might want to display prior to the maintenance period as well as a message that's displayed during the maintenance period. And once you've specified your general settings, uh, you can now select which services that are available through DeepFreeze Cloud you want to enable uh, on the computers that you're going to apply this policy against. So uh, I'll just step through what each service does and ultimately you'll, you'll uh, know best uh, which services you want to enable within your environment. So DeepFreeze is our flagship product, it's our reboot to restore solution. Uh, WinSelect is a user policy. Uh, management tool. It basically allows you to implement some of the more commonly desired restrictions uh, such as disabling right-clicking or restricting access to the control panel. Anti-executable is our application whitelisting or application control tool. Uh, when it gets installed on a computer it scans uh, the system, it adds all existing executable files to what we call a whitelist or a control list as allowed. 
Any other executable that attempts to run on those systems is prevented from doing so. Our software updater service allows you to easily update uh, third-party software. This is especially um, handy on a system that might have deep freeze installed on it as it will ensure some of, the, uh, some of those pieces of software that update quite frequently, such as your browsers, uh, Firefox and Chrome, uh, perhaps uh, little apps like Java, Flash, uh, Adobe Reader, etc., um, can be updated during a maintenance period. Um, we have close to 70, 75 or so applications available through our software updater service right now. Antivirus is our Pharonix antivirus solution. Uh, our Pharonix antivirus solution is unique in that it will allow definition updates to be applied against a workstation or a computer that has deep freeze on it and is in a frozen state. So there's no need to configure um, a maintenance period or a thawed period uh, in order to ensure your antivirus definition updates are applied properly. And then PowerSave is our energy management solution. It allows you to create comprehensive schedules uh, around when you might want workstations to go to sleep based on different times of the day. And of course, the ability to create multiple policies allows you to address um, different needs of, for different groups of workstations, if you will. So for this policy, we'll enable deep freeze and uh, perhaps we'll enable software updater and we'll configure Firefox to be updated uh, during that maintenance period. Once you've specified all of your desired settings for the services that you want to enable, we simply provide a policy name. So this policy name uh, ideally will be something that will give you a pretty good idea as to what it is. Of course, through that policy list, you'll get a glance at what services have been enabled uh, on that policy. So we'll just call this um, demo policy. <clears throat> Once you've provided a name, click the Save button. And you'll see that that demo policy uh, appears in my list of available policies now. No computers with that policy applied and we have deep freeze and software updater enabled as part of that policy. Now to apply that policy, we simply go to the computer section of deep freeze cloud. We select the computer that we want to apply that policy against. You can see this one already has the Pharonix default policy assigned to it. And we'll click the assign policy option and select demo policy. At this point in time, we're given a few options as to when we want that policy to be applied. So the first option says notify the user immediately when the computer checks in and restart the system after two minutes to make the changes. Now, this uh, option relies on that heartbeat setting. So the next time that computer checks in, based on the heartbeat settings that it were defined under the general options of the policy or the next time the computer is restarted and it checks in the policy will be applied. The second option provides an ability to schedule a time for the policy update to occur. So this will allow you to select a date perhaps we want, don't want to apply this policy until um, Saturday and we don't want it to happen uh, until we know users won't be using the system uh, at 3.30 in the morning. Click on OK and at 3.30 in the morning on Saturday morning that policy will be applied to the client 01 workstation in my list.